Wouldn't you want to just kill him then? In case he knew? Like that, or in case he saw who shot the gun? All right, guys, we're up to episode 16, Black Dog Serenade, and we only have 10 episodes left. I am not looking forward to finishing the series. I just want to extend it for as long as I possibly can, but I don't think it's possible. But judging just by the title, I'm pretty sure it has to do with the overall story with Spike and everyone. So that's my prediction on this episode. Let's jump right into it. I'm counting down this episodes and honestly, it's given me a lot of panic, a lot of anxiety. I really, really like this series and I don't want it to end. So as each episode passes, my panic will increase. So just, just wait for that. Don't forget, if you are not yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It's free, it doesn't cost a thing and it helps the channel so incredibly much. Plus, you get to see more of this amazing content. <laughs> um, and, if you're interested in watching along with any of these episodes or any full length reactions, the link is down in the link is in the description below. It's my Patreon. Oh my goodness, I can't do anything right. Let's see. Oh no. Oh, it's closing on a dead body. It always is. Stupid door. Shouldn't it just stay open then if there's somebody laying there? Oh. Who is this? The same man? Not bad, amigo. Okay, so they all work for the same place. He is not the same man. man. Come on, let's be friends now. No reason to waste what our whimsical god has given us. Our god. Well, oh. for these guys, it's more like the devil. Don't not trust him. It. It's Dom Perignon. This guy is very smooth. I feel like I kind of know his voice actor. It sounds very familiar. That's rude. That's really rude. You should bash his head in with that bottle because you, you offered it. What the hell's going on with the showers in this place? This is the fourth time. The fourth time. I get it, babe. I promise I'll fix the shower. Hi. Yeah, he'll call you back. Who is it? Okay, fat. I'll tell him. Fat? What's that? Did you say fat? Fat or fat? Who is this? Oh! <gasps> It's a jet story arc episode. Hey, I told you I'd fix it. I mean, you're on reconstructive surgery. <gasps> it doesn't cost that much these days, you know. She cares for him. This arm is my arm. I don't need instructions. She's caring about. Okay, first of all, Jet, everyone's really chill. She's showing that she cares about you. Take it that way. The ship will now embark on a highly mysterious tour. What is it, the jumpsuit crew? Do you really think you can get away in a ship like this? I wasn't talking to you, was I? I mean, he's the pilot. You can't really hurt him. If you turn yourself in, you can make it. Never mind, he's dead. I guess they'll have to control the ship themselves. He was giving you good advice. You trying to tell me what to do? If you got a problem, then step right up. I can't stand hot-headed people like that. Oh no. <gasps> he's gonna stand up. He's cool. You. Oh. oh my goodness! Wait, it's not zero gravity. Yeah, I heard about then you. Then why are the blood droplets? You're that assassin from the syndicate. He's an assassin. Okay, so he's an assassin. That's why he's so smooth, calm, and collected. And Jet has some sort of connection to him. And Jet's arm is apparently not working too good, and the ship's kind of falling apart. What is happening? I'll need to collect on that loan I gave you with seven years' worth of interest <laughs> and penalty fees. Wait, when did you buy me that cup of coffee? What kind of clap, hand, hand clap? What are they called? High fives. <laughs> it was that. So, what do you want to tell me? I need to give you a fine for doing that. That's it. There was a Goodbye. riot on a prison transport ship that was on its way to Pluto about six hours ago. Apparently, there was an electrical malfunction. The prisoners saw their opportunity and took it. Oh, no. Oh, it was a prison ship, and they all went kind of crazy and took over the ship, an assassin, and they're trying to... They were trying to escape. Hold on. You're not getting any stupid ideas, are you? This is not your beat. Are you sure it's a stupid idea, Jet? That's the reason you quit the police force, isn't it? Because of that. Oh, no. Oh, we're, we're getting into some deep jet story arc we're gonna find out what really gets him ticking what really grinds his gears what really upsets him he's not very happy look at him he waited a full like 30 seconds to answer past the statute of limitations if he gets free after what he did how are you gonna feel about that missing arm partner 
He lost his arm because of that guy. It doesn't interest me anymore. Okay. So Jet lost his arm due to the guy that's trying, the assassin that's trying to escape. He's not just some nobody. He is heavily feared. A, fa a very heavily feared assassin. Ooh, flashback. I love it. I wonder if the music has to do with the title. I know some majority of them, or almost all of them do. Black Dog Serenade. In a form of jazz, maybe? You're under arrest. He's gonna bite off your arm. Blow it up. <gasps> You're cornered. He was set up and lost his arm. There was an explosion. Do you think Jet feels his arm? Because the reason Faye brought it up is because he didn't feel a cigarette burning. You can hide it, this thing. I used to be a police captain on Venus. An ex-cop and they gave you life in prison. Wonder what happened. What'd you do? Cops are human too. We make mistakes. Mistakes or a serious crime that you have life in prison now. You came back. <gasps> I'm leaving. Edward. Don't stay there. You're in the way. Bring Edward some souvenirs this time. Edward is so dope. She is the light in this show. If I don't come back, water the bonsai for me, okay? All right. She doesn't even care. What? <laughs> Dude, she's so great. She really is the light in this show that the show desperately needs. It brings this lightheartedness. I love it. Surprise cigarette. I'm getting you back on it. Here's some nicotine. One emergency shuttle. Honored our four officers at 12 inmates. We're requesting an immediate pickup. Well, they're on to you. What do you mean immediate pickup? Oh, is it also a trap? They're all setting traps. It's so crazy that he's not phased at all. I'd be screaming the whole time. Non-stop. These people are too cool and calm. A lot of- everyone in this universe seems to be very chill and just laid back. Suave. Request emergency backup. Repeat emergency. Apparently the police don't have a clue where the ship went either. And where do you think they're heading for? Where'd the ship go? Well, they could try to hijack another ship. Maybe find a good hiding place near their original route. Europa. Europa? Really? Why would they Why go to Europa? They? If I was who died, that'd be my move. He's old-fashioned. Hence the flashback and the style of the flashback and the jazz really just depicted the, the assassins. A betrayal? If you want to think of it like that, I have information. That threat doesn't work anymore. While you were in prison, things changed. New rules. I don't like his, his vibe. Why don't you give up this bounty hunter thing and team up with me again at ISSP? I'll think it over if we make it back home. Oh, you want? So I kind of liked the assassin originally. I liked like his, I liked the way he was, his style. And now I'm not liking the vibe one bit. Uh. Too bad. Uh. Jet plays by his own rules. Don't you know this by now? Jet! Hello there, my friend. Welcome to hell. Mm. Little did you know, Jet's amazing. He's not gonna be taken down by your squirmy, your little puny little gun. This music is so good, and I feel like it matches this, like what's happening in the scene as well. Ooh. Hey, where are you going? Don't worry about it. This one's mine. Understand? We're going to the gun show, all right? I'll just change this. This makes things difficult. It's dark. I can barely see in there. I didn't think Jet was going to be such a deep character. I didn't think there would be such a huge past to him, honestly. And I I really just focused on Spike. But it's interesting. There's a, been a few Jet story arc episodes. I'm going to let him do that. He took your arm. And now he's going to try and take your life. Don't let him. Don't do it. You came all the way here to see me. I wasn't really looking yes. forward to it. Don't say that. I came all the way here just to say hello. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't want to come, but something else insisted. What? The arm I lost because of you. Did he not know that he lost his arm again? <gasps> oh no. Rip it out and just throw it back at him. You never figured it out in all this time. I'm not the one who fired the gun that day. It was your own partner. What? Why? It was all planned out from the beginning. 
your partner was on our payroll. You're under arrest. Wouldn't you want to just kill him then? In case he knew? Like that or in case he saw who shot the gun? Oh, he was being blinded he anyway. Led you like a lamb to slaughter. You were used. Dude. And now he's working with him again. Oh no, no. But he was spitting the truth and now he's gonna kill you again. You brought it on yourself, partner. He, he trusted you. you. Just couldn't play the game like everybody else. And you wanted to blow up his but arm? People who go against the syndicate lose yet. Their arm, apparently. That's what they lose. But it was your decision to hurt your partner. That's why you betrayed me. That's why you lied and took me out here. You were the best man. I wanted to team up like back in the old days. But you hurt him. He if he knew the truth. Oh, he's gonna try and kill you. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Jet's like, good, right? There's no way he... Pe what? Hey, no. Jet. One bullet? You knew I'd take you out with your... <gasps> he did it on purpose. Can you hand me a cigarette? Why did he want to die? I don't understand. He wanted out of the system? I guess I... He wanted to team up with Jet one last time and to have him kill him to get him out of the system, I'm assuming? I don't really understand that part, but that's just what I I can gather. That's really sad. Why was that so devastating? What is What are these random twists at the very end of each, almost each Bebop episode? These twists continuously catch me off guard. <gasps> I did not expect that. We just finished episode 16 of Cowboy Bebop and it was another one of Jet's um, story arcs and I actually really didn't expect it to be. Just by the title I thought that it was going to be something Spike related, I don't know, because Vicious, like I don't know. I just felt like it, the title sounded sinister enough for Vicious to be included. I really liked this episode. I didn't, honestly I didn't like it, like going through it, I felt... Like, I just felt like there wasn't too much to go off of, but then suddenly, in the last three minutes of the entire episode, everything wrapped up, everything came together, and everything was explained. And I find that to be so skillfully done, to the point where it makes you like this episode within three minutes. I thought that it was kind of dull, there wasn't really much going on, it was just like, oh, like a normal, like, take care of these bad guys, these, this guy who hurt Jet, kind of like a revenge story. Just kidding, his partner was in on it and his partner wanted maybe redemption actually. Now that I think about it, maybe his partner felt horrible. Maybe he didn't feel comfortable in the, in the system and he felt like the only person that should take his life should be Jet because that was his partner and he betrayed him. Wow, I just came to that realization. Wow, I did not expect that. That was, whew. I also like how Spike didn't really get worried that Jet was like not coming back. He was like, what do you mean he's not coming back? Um, I like all the moving parts. It's really cool. I really, really like the ending. Not because like the guy died, but because it just wrapped everything up and hit you with such a twist out of nowhere. And it's so hard to see that ever. Within like three minutes, it was so, it was done so great. And I love it. And it explained what happened to Jet's arm. And it kind of showed Faye being a bit worried about Jet. So I feel like it kind of shows like the bond that all of the, the entire crew is starting to gain and add to one another or have with each other. That's that's what I meant. So kind of like it. I feel like stuff is starting to, starting to move definitely a lot quicker. And next is episode 17, which means we'll only have nine episodes left. <laughs> I'm so sad. All right. On to episode 17 very soon. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>